45 degrees so she's able to flex the hip and then extend and then do this one 45 degrees and she's able to extend right so for the um so that was for the flexion so for the for the extension please you know face down so as you can see here the patient is facing down now i'm gonna ask her to lift up lift up your lift up your whole leg great and then lift up the other leg okay as you can see she's able to flex you know and extend on this side too uh please turn around now for addu abduction i mean like away from you know away from the body lift your leg up a little bit move it to other way great put it back and then this one abduction then put it back and then abduction you're gonna put this leg and you do it over there you go that's a good extension and then to this one good extension about 30 about 30 degrees so you know as far as like the range of motion um for the hip you know she's able to perform all of them active range of motion and passive range of motion now what we're gonna do is a special test it's called the thomas test and the thomas test is basically um a flexion is to check if the patient has the you know what you call this the a defect occult in flexion contracture and then um then what we're gonna do we're gonna have the patient flex to the right knee flex your right knee right and then uh, firmly against the abdomen so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull against the you know the um against my abdomen to see if she has any any contracture problem on the hip area okay do you feel any pain no all right great so the other test i'm gonna do is called the patrick test the patrick test is also to to test the hip for sacro aerial, you know, sacro iliac joint, sacro iliac or joint problem, all right? So for this one, I'll press the left knee. This is the left knee right here. And then I'll um, put it over, over right here. Hold on. Relax your legs a little bit. Relax your leg. Relax. Flex your knee. Put it over here. So as you can see here, what I'll try to do is I'll try to push this against the examination table. If she would feel like any type of pain, and then that would be positive for Patrick test as well. Now, the next thing is we're going to do is the, the spine. Please uh, stand up. Thank you so much for, for you know, accepting all these movements. So as you can see here, the spine uh unfortunately okay so the spine area i'll start you know checking from the cervical site you know up to the c7 right here this is a preeminent bone right here and then i'll see the position of the the cervical area it's more of like a, on a concave mode and then this one is i mean um this one is like a inward indentation and this one is you know outward you know um, um position and then so technically the way it works is it'll go in out and back in and uh, that's the normal shape you know for the spine so um i do not see any type of swelling uh, i don't see any injuries i don't see any discoloration i don't see any tendon i don't see any nodule and so on so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, the palpation of the, you know, the spine. So, um, as far as like the palpation part, I will first, um, I mean, uh, before I do the palpation, I'll look at the, the, you know, the symmetry of the shoulders, right? I see that both shoulders are symmetric, so there's no scoliosis, and then I see that, you know, the iliac crest is also at the same level. And then if I would look at, you know, like the, the creases area, right, um, by the buttocks right here, you know, the creases also is at the same level, so there's a symmetry to it. 
so that that is the the inspection and then um as far as like the palpation um what i'll do is i'll palpate you know the cervical site right here and then i'll ask you ask her to bend forward then as she bending forward i can see she's able to perform like a flexion right um and then i look at you know the position of the uh you know you know the the position of the spine you know i do not see any lateral deviation or any type of scoliosis or lordosis right so the spine the process is totally normal so now on the palpation you know i palpate you know every uh please stand up i will palpate you know every you know vertebrae in between to see the if there's any tenderness you feel any pain no so I don't feel any any pain she don't feel any pain and I don't feel any tenderness right and then I'm gonna you know also check the muscles the you know the para uh, supine muscles the trapezius muscles you know on both sides they symmetric and then I'm gonna ask her to bend one more time please and then I'm gonna percuss the the spine, you know, with the the ulnar surface of my right finger. You feel any tenderness? No. You feel any pain? No. So with the percussion here, it doesn't seem like there's any type of uh, you know you can still feel any type of uh, swelling or you know uh, tenderness or pain is felt to you know during the the percussion. So, and I see that there's a symmetric, you know, of the shoulders, symmetric of the iliac crest, symmetric of the creases and the buttocks, and um, the spine process is normal, it's straight line, there's no deviations. Um, the next step we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna check the, we're gonna um, check the, um, So, oh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, the range of motions. So please, um, one more time, please bend. Try to see if you can touch your toes. Great. And then stand up. And then please lean forward and backward. That's great. And then side to side. And then to the other side. Great. And then twist to the left. And then to the right so as you can see here the range of motion is also good she did the abduction deflection extension you know abduction um abduction and then you know she's able to you know to perform the whole range of motions without any type of limitation um the sh we're gonna do um a test it's called the straight uh straight leg you know test please lay back down The straight leg test here is that I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just cover the patient for a minute. Let me get a towel. Do you mind if I cover one side? Okay. Yeah. All right. So she's gonna I'm gonna raise this leg up to as high as possible. You feel any pain? No. Any pain? No. Great. So as you can see here, um, with the the straight leg raise, you know she's able to perform the entire, you know, to raise the legs, you know, over ninety degrees, uh, without feeling any pain. So that means that um, you know, she does not have any problem, you know, as far as like you know the hip area. Now, um, I uh, please sit down. Let me just make sure that I that we did everything. We did the wrist, we did the elbows, right? We did the shoulders, we did the neck, we did the spine, uh, we did the hips, 
we did the knees we did the ankles we did the feet right so that would basically conclude you know the musculoskeletal examination do you have any question no i don't i'm so sorry for all the moves you know back and forth all right but i thank you so much for you know for the visit you're welcome all right